WMBF News reporter Amy Littman tells us about a new training course that could make you part of the renewable energy future. Last year, South Carolina passed a law laying the groundwork for solar energy in the state. So now a solar company is bringing industry training and future jobs right here to the PD. Sam Rodriguez is already a trained electric lineman, but he decided he wanted to be one step ahead of the power industry. The solar panel is just it's really an untapped resource here in, uh, in South Carolina, so we wanted to make sure we want to make sure that we are well prepared for it. Rodriguez joined eight other students for a four-week solar panel installation course through Florence Darlington Technical College's continuing education program. Many believe trained workers in the solar industry will soon be in high demand. <laughs> It's something that's not done in South Carolina right now, but hoping it, it emerges as strong as it does in other areas of the country. The course's lab instructor, Khalil Gary Robinson, says as part of South Carolina's new law, people who install solar panels will be able to recover their investment quickly from electric companies. People will get their money back on solar installations and uh, five to seven years, which is unlike anything we had in New Jersey. He says the panels themselves have also advanced in recent years, making them more attractive to customers. With a more efficient panel, um, it's only a matter of time before all the southern states gravitate towards solar. He says residential installation makes up more than 70 percent of the market, so the class is learning how to install panels onto roofs. But they're also learning commercial installation, and if they pass the course, they'll have job opportunities with Myers Crossing, which is applying to install a solar farm near Hartsville. And the company needs a workforce to get that done. We're being trained specifically to work with Myers Crossing, so all the information will be used like immediately. Darlington County's Planning Commission has actually just submitted a proposal to County Council with recommended regulations for renewable energy development in the county. County Council is expected to take a look at that May 4th. Reporting in Florence County, Amy Lippman, WMBF News.